Welcome to People's Ages. In this lesson I'm going to try and use some addition and subtraction strategies uh, to work out people's ages. Let's start with this question here. Um, we've got a person who was born on the 23rd of the 5th, 1892, and they lived until the 19th of the 8th, um, 19. 46. So I want to try and find out how old this person is. Well, I could write this question as 1892 plus how much uh, equals 1946. Notice I'm saying these like 1946 rather than 1946 just because they're dates, but they are the same thing. So let's start by doing uh, drawing a number line. On my number line I'm going to write 1946, the date I'm trying to get to, and I'm going to write 1892. Now to help me answer this question, I'm going to jump up to a tidy number, and I can see that 1900 is pretty close to that. So to jump from 1892 to 1900 is a jump of 8. And now that I'm at 1900, or 1900, it's really easy for me to jump all the way up to 1946. I can see from 1900, or 1900, to 1946, or 1946, that's a jump of 46, which means I jumped up 8, and I jumped up another 46, which means in total I jumped up 54. Now we've just got one more thing that we need to check. This person was born in the fifth month, which was May. Now in the year that they died, they uh, died in the eighth month, which was August. So they lived all the way through past their birthday and died in this month. So since they've had their birthday, I know that 54 is the right answer. If they died um, before the fifth month, I might have to, well, I would have to take away one from my answer. Let's try another question. Let's try, um, someone was born on the 15th of the 7th, uh, 1846, and they lived until the 12th of the 9th, nineteen. 21. And just like last time, I think I'm going to solve this by using a number line. So I'm going to write 1921 on it, and I'm going to write 1846 here. And I need to think of a jump that I could do. I could just do a little jump up to 1850, but I think I could probably jump a little bit further than that. I'm going to jump right up to 1900 again. And I know that from 1846, or 1846, up to 1900, that is a jump of 54. And then from there, just like last time, it's really easy for me to jump up to 1921. That's a jump of 21 more years, which means in total I jumped 54, plus another 21 years, which means I jumped up 75 years. And just like last time, I need to check something. They were born in the seventh month, and they uh, died in the ninth month. So I can come back up here. This was the month that they were born, and this was the month that they died. So in their last year, they lived all the way through here, past their birthday, and died in this month, which means this answer is still correct. I don't have to take any off. Let's try one more, which is a little bit different. Uh, let's try, um, someone was born on the 12th of the 3rd, 1982, and they died on the 12th of the 1st, um, 2004. And just like we've done before, I'm going to solve that using a number line. All right, 2004 on here, and 1982. 
and I'm going to do my first jump to take me up to 2000. So I think, what jump will take me from 1982 up to 2000? And the answer is 18. And you can see it's really easy for me to then go from 2000 up to 2004. That's a jump of four more years. So my first jump of 18 plus my second jump of four means I jumped up 22. Now, I need to just check whether this person has had their birthday um, in the year that they died. They were born in the third month, and they died in the first month. Let's go up and have a look up here. So, this was the month that they, was, they were born in. Now, in their last year, this is the month they died in. So you can see they didn't actually get up to having their birthday that year, which means the answer that I've just worked out is one year too much. So to fix that up, I'm just going to have to take off one. So 22 minus 1 means that this person was actually 21 years old when they died. Probably the biggest trick in this lesson here is working out whether they have had their birthday in the year that they died. If they haven't had it, you're going to have to subtract 1, and if they have had it, then the answer that you work out is going to be, well, like over here, is going to be their actual age. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful. Um, if you need any more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.